hey beautiful seals i literally have to talk about this because i am in a mastermind and i went through a few offers that are going on in there people are creating offers but i'm not the mentor over there so i'm not going to i, I cannot say anything unless people ask for advice which is not going to happen so but going through those offers the reason why you if you're selling hi if you're selling any of your offers and it's not making sales and most of the times what people think that oh i've been talking about this offer for a long time for so many days it's been like 15 days i'm talking about this offer but it, there's no inquiries coming in or inquiries are coming in but people aren't joining the biggest shift that you need to make in your messaging is this that i want to talk about in this mastermind i've gone through a lot of offers that people are putting in and people aren't talking about the things that literally make people tick okay you have to this is a psychological thing why would people join your offers this is not about so so many times when i see people when they are selling their offers it's about like live your life the way you love shift your mindset bring joy into your life like all of this it's very in tangible fluff language this messaging will not sell your offers okay if you have if you're selling meditation that you don't want to sell meditation that is the process but what is the transformation that is what you want to sell in your office this is the biggest shift that you want to make and people don't understand this which is why their offers don't sell most of the times when it is about if you have an offer that brings intangible results so it's like um it's a very intangible thing so you help them with mindset shift and all of that right but it does bring there is a final transformation a tangible transformation that is happening in their life okay and that is what you want to bring and that is what you want to sell you don't want to sell there's a difference between over here and most people and even this is a problem with my clients as well and i have to show them how to talk tangible language how to talk about the wants and not the needs so most of the times what happens is that when people talk about their offers they aren't even sure that they are talking about the need instead of the want there's a huge difference between both of these things so if you're talking about the need of the offer that is going to be something like hi it's been so long i haven't seen you so what happens is that when people are talking about when they are selling their offers you don't even know that you might be talking about the need need or the process there's a huge gap between the need and the want so if you are selling so for example you know that what you are going to give them is meditation to help them shift mindset uh or whatever that might be right but if you're giving them that and you're selling that oh i'm going to give you this meditation that is not why people would join your offers okay you want to show them what is the final transformation meditation is a process okay this process is what will get them to the transformation but what is the transformation that is what you want to sell and this is where people get stuck a lot and that is why their offers won't sell and they would be like oh i've been talking about this offer for a long time and there are no inquiries coming in this is the reason this is the very small minute shift that you need to make inside your offer messaging and that is going to blow up literally people would come in and people would be like how can i join your offers this is what you want to talk about so every single time if you want to check the messaging um go through all of your recent posts or recent sales that you have um call to actions go through all of those and check where you are making this mistake just ask yourself this is this the process that i'm going to take them through inside the offer or is it the final transformation right and that is going to make a huge difference okay and so so let me tell you um a few examples so for example shift your mindset or live your life the way you love this is like a lot of jargon language not jargon language but when it's about the thing when it's really intangible when it is the thing when people have when you are talking about it and it means something to someone else and it means something to someone else that means you are not talking tangible that means you are not talking about the final transformation people should be able to read your content and be like oh yes i want that it should be so much about i teach this inside a lot of my programs okay i teach this to my one on one clients as well and it should be like they should be able to get that moment and they should be able to be like oh i want that in my life when they read it that is when it's going to tick to your audience and they would be like yes i want to join their offer 
right that is what you want so there should be no jargon language so for example if you are using language like oh um i have no idea <laughs> no no niche coming in in my mind right now but no jargon language from your thing so for example womb womb healing right um or childhood trauma yes you can use this language but then you have to explain it so that people are like yes that is what i want to talk about that is what i want in my life or so no jargon language no intangible stuff you want to really bring it towards what is the final transformation they are going to get right even if your niche is intangible you can talk about it in a tangible way and that is something that i teach inside my offers as well so again it shouldn't be about the process it shouldn't be high it shouldn't be about the process it shouldn't be about the need that need means okay let me uh, tell you the difference between need and want need means this is what they need in order to get to so for example um if i say if i create a program around market research okay i'm going to help you with market research no one wants that market research is one of the things that i know that a lot of people would be like i don't want that i don't if i'm if i know that to in order to get you the results you need to do market research but i'm not going to talk about the market research because that is the process that is the need but what is the want what is it what is the final transformation that they are going to get and that is going to be that this is what's going to help you make more sales this is what's going to really talk to people it would be like how do you know about this how do you, how are you in my head but in a very positive way and just sign me up those kind of dms right this is what this is what you want to pull from whatever you are selling right so there's always a difference between need and want and people get confused it it, it is like one of the things that you might already know that yes i know that i know, i shouldn't be talking about the need and i should be talking about the want but then when you sit down to write your content because you're so much inside your niche head uh, your your head is so much about your your niche because you talk to your clients in that way and you use a lot of jargon language when you talk to the clients but those clients really do understand because they are in your programs but when you really talk about uh when you're in the sales process and you are really putting out the ctas and giving out ctas to join your programs this is when you really have to pull yourself out of that and now talk about in a very um in a language that people do understand so no jargon no intangible stuff um uh, not talking about the process not talking about the need only talking about the final transformation that is what's going to make a huge difference so i do have a formula that i teach my clients and um this is what i'm going to teach inside this is just one of the things okay um i do have a master class that is coming up uh that is called triple activation educational content master class where i'm going to take all of your educational posts and that educational post how can you turn your educational post into things into something that can bring a lot of inquiries right and there is a process in which like this is how you pitch and also if you don't want to pitch and still want people to come to you and say that i want to join that program there's also a strategy for that so there are two things that you are learning over here without pitch with pitch both of these but it is going to activate your audience so the lurkers that are sitting there and they are like watching loving your content but they are not taking action this is activation activating stuff this is what you want to talk about so this is what i'm actually teaching inside the master class and inside this master class i'm giving you literally the formula to how to talk about this thing how to create a pitch in a way that you are talking really tangible stuff right so that it really activates your audience so this is what i'm uh, giving you over here the formula is like oh my god so it's going to really break it down into so small steps and it would be like yes now i understand this is what i want to write down these are the bullet points i would put in it's going to make it so simple so literally this is like you put educational content and that educational content is going to turn into really like cash creating machine um that is what we are going that is what we are going to do over here the biggest problem with educational content is that when you put out educational content it's like it either gets you in the gets you stuck in the friend zone or people just send you things like oh you are so inspiring and then 
no inquiries come in right or you feel like oh i gave away so much and no one's inquiring what is happening right so this is what you want to do and i'm giving you all of the formulas i'm literally breaking it down into triple activation is actually a formula in and of itself okay so there are three steps that you need to take after giving the value this will change the whole game around how you actually share your educational content okay you really this is for the person who is like I really love sharing value posts. I don't like to pitch without giving any value. I have that thing in me and this is perfect for you because it's like you don't have to hold back anymore. Okay. And even with that, you're not going to be stuck in the friend zone. That is what we are going to do over here. So this is really good. It's a 90 minute masterclass uh, that is going to help you to turn your educational posts into activating cash creating machine without using any icky sales strategies. Literally, there are no icky sales strategies and that is what we are doing. And you're going to learn things like how to activate your audience to send you a I am in DM without pitching inside the post. You're also going to learn which types of educational content can create this kind of triple activation and educational content is a waste of your time. Um, and like which educational content is a waste of your time. So don't share those kind of educational content. How to seamlessly transition from providing value into a direct pitch inside your post that brings direct inquiries inside your DMs and which types of educational content actually makes sales, actually brings sales, right? So there's a lot of things that are happening over here. And the biggest thing that you are going to take away from this masterclass is going to be like how to, yes, how to give value, but then how to make them wanting more. And that is when they would be like, I am in, I want that uh, program that you sold at the end of this. Or if you are not pitching, and but you are still building awareness around your offer, but in a way that activates your audience without pitching. So good. Like you can go with this in any way. You do it this way. Don't pitch. You do it this way. Yes, do pitch and bring in inquiries any ways that you want to do. This is going to shift. Oh my God, this is so good. We are literally starting tomorrow. So tomorrow is when this masterclass is dropping. And after that, you wouldn't be able to join this masterclass because it's literally it's too much ROI. So I don't want to put it like it is not going to be a public masterclass anymore. So it will be available to only to the people who are inside my Elite Immersion membership. And that is going to be available just for those people. So if you really want to join this, it's only $47 to join right now. It's so good. I invite you to join if you are interested. And if you are like, oh, I just don't want to be stuck in the friend zone. And I really want my educational content to be like my biggest sales generating machine. That is that is what we are going to do over here. So I'm so excited about this. We'll literally start tomorrow tomorrow is the time when it is dropping and then after that you wouldn't be able to join this program will never come back again this masterclass will never be able to um, never be publicly available after that again so that is what you have I hope that you join I'm inviting you to join over here and we are going to have so much fun you would get lifetime access to the masterclass and all of the materials that I'm giving you over there we are going to have so much fun. So I invite you to join over here. And if you are like, yes, go through all of your content that you have created so far. Okay. Um, the CTS that you've made so far, all of the posts where you've pitched so far, see if it is talking about the transformation, the final transformation, or is it talking about the process or the need? Do you have any jargon language that you're using things like, Oh, um, bring joy into your life. Like, what does that mean? Really pull that together. Like, what does that mean? Really go to the very specific thing. It has to be very specific. Okay. That is what I can give you. So right now, but, um, other than that, we have formulas for it inside the triple activation masterclass. That is what I'll say so far. Okay. Thank you so much for joining over here. I'll see you next time.